what's going on YouTube? What's going on my youngest? Now I wanna first say I don't have anything personally against Amber Rhodes. Even though to be a woman to put a tattoo across your forehead or in your face any kind of way and that's your glory, it's maddening to me. It's not what I talk about. I just want to talk about it and tell her I'm glad she made it home for a family reunion. Um, hope she gets the chance to see all her family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, y'all didn't know. Y'all, Amber Rose, is actually speaking at the Republican National Convention. After every the other day this year, she been with y'all. Now, I ain't gonna knock nothing that the Republicans got going on, because I'm gonna tell you the truth, there is nobody in the race that represents me or even remotely lies like they gonna do anything for me. It's not about politics. This is something that I want you youngest to realize that just because they can shake their ass don't mean they're good for black folk. And I want you young and rappers and you entertainers to remember all the bags y'all done bought. All the flying in and out and trips and jewelry and cash money y'all done put in. You know what she had? Paying her way. And I, I can guarantee you, they ain't comping nothing for Amber Rose. Not them Republicans. Not with all them Negro fingerprints on her. See, that was on purpose. Amber Rose being at the Republican National Convention was on purpose. That was strategic, y'all. And y'all might be saying, oh, gee, he, oh, he, um, one of them old conspiracy theorists. No, I just know that white people do not do nothing without a damn good reason. And out of all people, the first thing she does when she come out is that she's an entrepreneur and an influencer. For who? A model, my bad. I ain't never seen you on In Sports Illustrated. I ain't never seen you on no reputable magazine. I have it now, but I'm old. I done seen you on vlog, I done heard you in some extra, extra type videos and pictures and stuff. But I ain't never seen you on the cover of Vogue, Sports Illustrated, Essence, Ebony Magazine. I ain't, I have it. But I wanted to talk about this and bring this up. This is a little brief commentary to you, youngin'. So when y'all sitting out there with y'all arms wide open, welcoming her back from the family reunion, to remember that why y'all out here dissing one another, why y'all down here tearing one another down. There's some races of people that stick together no matter what they got going on through the week. See Amber Rose down there with y'all all through the week, but you know what they done? They lifted her up and let them know, no matter what you look like, no matter what you done been through, no matter what they done did to you, Trump gonna save you, and we here for you, Amber Rose. And she showed up and showed out for him. She had her beauty look on. If she didn't had a tattoo with a bald head, you swear she was white. Oh, she is. Y'all spent a lot of money on Y'all made her famous. And like I said, this is not about politics. This is how y'all are so quick to embrace these folks. Just like y'all got Adam 22. All Y'all are all up Adam 22 telling every chance he get. He lets us know. He went and got him. Think about it now. But the girl didn't let him shine on him. He couldn't just introduce the fake black girlfriend. He had to come with a racial insult because it wasn't a joke to me and say his very words that he wanted to get back in touch with his roots by getting a black girlfriend. See, I'm not talking about all Caucasians. I'm talking about them. I'm talking about Adam 22. I'm talking about Adam Road that really don't like y'all and y'all started making them wealthy. 
Y'all steady paying the bills and taking care of the children. I don't care what rapper she done laid down with. Once they show you they over there and you over here, they over there. Okay, you get that, didn't you? 